What's good, YouTube? Picasso Carby here. So, we got the next one off of a Painter's Canvas Just Trays album. This is called Southern Boys. I've really enjoyed this album so far. We're getting a little deeper into it now, so I'm excited to see which directions this takes for all the songs remaining. It's been really, really diverse so far. And I wasn't expecting anything but that, right? Just Trey can really do a lot of different styles of flowing, a lot of different vibes when it comes to beat selection. He gets old school sometimes. Sometimes he has a more modern feel. Sometimes you get clubby. Sometimes you get real deep emotional. You never know what you're going to get whenever it comes to a track from him. And this album is proof of that so far. I've really enjoyed it so far, like I said. Creek Squad, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate you. Subscribe if you're new here. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. Break down all the lyrics. I like to talk about the beats, too, whenever there's parts and those that I like a whole lot. So we just go in and we break down as much of the lyrics as we can possibly catch. And I like to talk about what he has to say because I can relate a lot of it to my own life when it comes to how I grew up and the experiences I had going into my younger years of adulthood and everything like that as well. It's very relatable and it's just really real shit talking about true life events and the struggle of coming up and turning himself into the artist that he is now. I really love that he's open about that and that he speaks about that and pretty much all of his songs. It's a really awesome thing to see artists doing that because a lot of stuff is just manufactured inside of the music industry nowadays. So I love whenever we get an artist like Just Trey that keeps it absolutely real with his subject matter inside of the lyrics. That being said, we're going to hop into this for you. If you struggle with mental health and addiction, please go get yourself some help. I say that in every video, just in case anyone that's watching needs to hear it. I struggled with alcoholism and addiction to drugs for my whole life into my, well, young teenage years up until almost two years ago. I got clean from alcohol almost two years ago, four years ago for hard drugs. It's been a hell of a journey, a lot of learning experiences, a lot of growth had to happen, and I fully understand what it's like to be in that place of your life. So if you struggle with that, please go talk to the professionals. Let them help you and build a better life for yourself. Go out there, chase your dreams, inspire other people to do the same thing and to take that same journey to a better life. That's what it's all about on here. That's the message I like to push because of how personal and close that is to my own heart and my own life experience. So please go get help if you need it. We're going to get into it for you. I'm Vakasa Kavi. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. This is Southern Boys by Just Trey. <laughs> Southern boys, roll with that southern pride Fuck people hating yeah. on you even though they telling lies So bitch get <sighs> Roll with them southern boys, roll with them so with, with that southern pride Fuck all those people hating on you, they just telling lies He said, yeah They'll be like, you suck, you're nothing, you ain't going nowhere I can't stand it when you get on here about stuff And then you're just here being successful and building yourself more each and every day, the results speak for themselves. And you're like, nothing that you said has any weight. Look at where I am. <laughs> right? And then they'll try to say you're fake or like you're just putting on an image and stuff. And you know, look at somebody like Just Trey, especially if you go watch his live streams and shit and watch what he just does on a day to day when he's posting and everything. He sings about exactly what he does whenever he's not singing. <laughs> like, I don't know, man. People are weird like that, though. Just Trey knows. People are fucking weird like that. You just never know what to expect to come out of their mouths once they run out of, like, 
regular things to say to try to like hurt you they'll start going directions that are just verging on psychotic like they're in a state of psychosis or delusion and they've made up stories about you to their self that they're now telling to you it's fucked up he i know he knows what i'm talking about <laughs> the way before we send you i i don't apologize what i die for at any time roll with them southern boys roll with that southern pride so he don't apologize at any time no you can't be out here apologizing to these people who just got hurt feelings because you're successful there's no apologies to be had there <laughs> Get out the way before we send you I I don't apologize what I die for at any time Roll with them southern boys, roll with that southern pride Fuck people hating on you even though they telling lies So bitch get out the way before we send you I I don't apologize what I die for at any time Man, I like this, it's got like a really classic Eminem kind of flow too, like the structure of it, the way it's carried there, I can hear that influence in there. He's done his own thing with it, obviously, telling his own story, and he has his own voice and way of approaching things, but you can hear that influence in there. Yeah, kind of reminds me of like a, the Purple Pills kind of flow, that's what it reminds me of, yeah. It's blue and yellow, purple pills. <laughs> That's a fucking funny song. That song's fucking wild, bro. They were on some shit, right? <laughs> but yeah, just right. You can hear his influences and stuff and the way he flows sometimes as well. You can hear it. he's about to speed it up tremendously here. So I need to put my fucking listening ears on for sure. <laughs> We send you why I don't apologize what I die for at any time. Any time of day, these country boys can't survive that Alabama lake. We've been cooking up a mean fish fry. Them ugly sticks don't play. Till you break a 10 pound test line. Wow. <laughs> I like the like spaciness of the flow in this one. He's putting spaces inside of the cadence, and I like that. He said that Alabama, right? <laughs> We send you why I don't apologize what I die for at any time Any time of day These country boys can't survive that Alabama lake We've been cooking up a meat fish fried Them ugly sticks don't play till you break We've been cooking up a meat and fresh fried he said yeah any day, any fucking day, he said that those country boys can survive that Alabama lake. He says, I like it. I like the vibe of this one. These country boys can't survive that Alabama lake. We've been cooking up a mean fish fry. Them ugly sticks yeah. don't play till you break a 10 pound test line. Gotta tell you in the rope when I put the trigger when I'm making them back for the long ride back home. Wow. Break that 10 pound test line. He went on a really nice quick burst right there as well. Fried. Them ugly sticks don't play till you break a 10 pound test line. Gotta tighten the rope when I pull the trigger when I'm yanking them back for the long ride back home. Gotta tighten them up when I'm pulling the trigger and yanking them back. Oh, okay. Okay. I gotcha. Yeah, that's nice right there. That's nice. I like what you said there. It's fried. Them ugly sticks don't play till you break a 10 pound test line. Gotta tighten the rope when I pull the trigger when I'm yanking them back for the long ride back home. Long with ride. nowhere to go. Memories popping up. No, oh my god, no memory popping up on the phone, is that what he just said? No memory popping up on the phone, he says. <laughs> yeah, that's a struggle sometimes. <laughs> Trigger when I'm yanking them back for the long ride back home with nowhere to go. Memories popping up on the phone, never know what I would be doing phone. if I let that voice alone. One voice telling me to go. Uh, wow, I really like this flow. I really like it. Sorry for pulling it back so many times. I want to make sure I catch everything he's saying. The phone, never knowing what I would be doing if I let that voice alone. One voice tell Never knowing what I would be doing if I wouldn't have left that voice alone. Okay, I gotcha. Wow, I like this. More storytelling, man. Storytelling master right here. <laughs> the phone, never knowing what I would be doing if I let that voice alone. One voice telling me to go right. One voice telling me to go left. And there was another person telling me that I shouldn't wear anything that I read. Boom, boom. <laughs> One voice 
voice telling me to go right, another telling me to go left, and the other voice is another person telling me what I should or shouldn't wear. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. <sighs> People be judging each other over the most the dumb shit, like, why do you dress like this? Why this? Why that? I, I think it should be more defined on, like, the characteristics of a person more than how they look. Because, like, you could see, like, a super, like, emo or gothy looking person. And they could be, like, the greatest business person in the world whenever they, like, do work or whatever. You know what I mean? Like, on a professional setting. And then when they're outside of that, that's when they get their get up on. And it's like... You could be missing an opportunity just by judging someone's appearance because oftentimes people that look different actually have a lot going on with themselves that you could fucking benefit off of learning things from them and shit like that. So judge, judging the appearance is just stupid. Telling people what they should or shouldn't wear and shit like that. Like, I'm glad he said that. I'm glad he said that. That's something I feel really strongly about is not judging people for the appearance that they have because that doesn't define who a person is, nor will it ever define what a person is, right? You can't base it off of that. I like that he said that. Telling me to go left and there was another person telling me that I shouldn't wear anything that I wear. Boom, boom, to his top first. No guns, just clockwork. Punch a motherfucker two or three wow. times. Wow. Boom, 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 to his clock first. Hold on. Hold on. Bring that back real quick. I like that switch up right there. Give me a sec. Pull this back a good bit. There we go. On the phone, never knowing what I would've been doing if I let that voice alone. One voice telling me to go right. Boom, boom, it's top first, no guns, just clockwork. <laughs> I love it. I fucking love it. Telling me to go left, and there was another person telling me that I shouldn't wear anything that I wear. Boom, boom, to his top first, no guns, just clockwork. Punch a motherfucker two or three times, making fun of my attire. Family struggling. <laughs> He's gonna punch a motherfucker two or three times for making fun of my attire. <laughs> boom boom to his top first No guns, just clockwork Punch a motherfucker two or three times Making fun of my attire Family struggling, penny pension Didn't have a pillow, we was tired No big hand for a real man My brother told me how to fight first He said the family was penny pension Barely had a pillow for their head Man Fucking tough. I love his flow on this one. On in my attire, family struggling, penny pension, didn't have a pillow, we was tired. No big hand for a real man, my brother told me how to fight first. Roll with them southern boys, roll with that southern He said my brother taught me how to fight first. Damn. <laughs> yeah. He's saying, I'll fight first and ask questions later out of survival instinct, right? Yeah, a lot of people have that instinct whenever it comes to situations because of what they've been through in life. It's completely understandable. I totally understand that. I'm one of those people who definitely likes to dress things hands-on. <laughs> oh my god. I really like his flow style on this one, though like the choppiness of it and just the pauses inside of it but also speeding it up into those quick bursts and really saying a whole lot inside of it about how his life has been and how he feels about the things surrounding him at this point really fucking awesome i love the vibe of this one as well like i said the beat style is awesome i love the flow style and what he's saying is fucking awesome keeping it real like always man my brother told me how to fight first Roll with them southern boys Roll with that southern pride Remember thin clotheslines That hang up clothes that couldn't try Roll with them southern boys Roll with that southern pride Remember sharing clothes with garbage bags That turned to slip and slides Roll with them southern boys Roll with that southern pride Remember saving grease from iron skillets Never going out to buy Roll with them southern boys Roll with them southern pride 
mods from garbage bags and saving grease. He's really going into every possible detail when it comes to every experience he's had throughout his life. Just slip and slide. Some southern boys roll with that southern pride. Remember pie. saving grease from iron skillets, never going out to buy. Roll with them southern boys, roll with that southern pride. Remember picking tobacco with sticky hands so we can let it roll dry. With them southern boys. Remember picking tobacco with sticky hands so we can let it dry. I fucking love that one. That's so fucking awesome of a bar. I like that one a lot. That southern pride. Remember picking tobacco with sticky hands so we can let it roll dry. With southern boys, yeah. roll with that southern pride. Fuck people hating on you, even though they telling lies. So bitch, get out the way before we send you out. Apologize what I die for at any time. Roll with them yeah. southern boys, roll with that southern pride. Fuck people hating on you, even though they telling lies. So bitch, get out the way before we send you out. I don't apologize what I die for at any time. Man, fucking awesome right here. I like that one. I really liked that one a lot. Fucking epic right there. Leave a like on that for just Shrey. I like this one. More awesome storytelling, just getting in and diving into his story some more and telling us even more specific details of everything. I love storytelling albums, and every single one of his is one of those because he just talks about everything going on in his life and what he went through before, where he is now. And that's... That's like the greatest thing whenever you get an artist that just tells the whole story of their life through their music. You don't always get that, you know, because <clears throat> people like to write about different kinds of things. Some people don't write about their lives. They like to actually tell different kinds of stories and like make concept albums and stuff like that. But when you get one of the artists that comes out there and just throws their life out for everybody to hear on every track, I respect that so much. It's, it's a really brave thing to do to put yourself out there and let people see everything you've gone through and hear everything you've gone through. It's a really brave thing to do. And he has created awesome art out of it. I'm really enjoying this album so far. You did your thing on this one, brother. I, I really like this one. Fucking awesome tune right here. Original video in the description. As always, subscribe to Just Trey. Support the artists we have on the channel. Show them love. Especially the independent artists. They work their asses off, man. Independent artists work their asses off doing everything their self, man. It's a grind. It's a fucking heavy grind for sure, but it's worth it at the end of the day whenever you see all the success and the lives that you can impact with your own experience and songs that you put out. Fucking awesome right here. I really like it. Creek Squad, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm Vikasa Kabe. A reaction video a day keeps the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me. Comment, suggestion, subscribe up that way. Bang the notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. Y'all have a blessed night. Peace.